Hey guys, good morning and happy Friday. I was just about to go out and hit, hit the gym this morning and I saw some stuff on the news I want to talk about, about the Iranian jet. It's now pretty much confirmed, I think, especially by the Canadian Prime Minister, that uh, it was accidentally, apparently accidentally shot down by a missile. Oh, I, then again, wait, I, I take that back. It was shot down by a missile. We'll leave that there. Um... At first glance, it looks like a series of events has now led to more deaths. Uh, Iranian, Ukrainian, and I think there was Canadians on that jet. Um, you know, starting off with the, Salama, the Salamani assassination and whatever reason caused that. Um, I personally believe it's tied to Saudi Arabia, uh, an assassination on Salamani. But anyway... Uh, Iran, Iran initially said that it was an engine failure. Uh, they refused to hand over the black box, which was a flag. And now there's actually pictures on the popping up on the media where you could see what appears to be a missile coming up and hitting the airliner. Uh, was it an accident? I, I'm guessing it was. Um, I'm guessing there's a lot of itchy trigger fingers. Um, you know, somebody somewhere saw, I don't know how the, all this military stuff works. Uh, I'm guessing that uh, something was misidentified and 175 people paid with their lives. Now, the interesting thing is, I'm thinking, we talk a lot about how Iran and the United States are a lot alike in their people. And I believe that. Now, if that happened in the United States, uh, there would be rumors, there would be more rumors than truth that it was caused by terrorists, that somehow Iran must have had something to do with it if it happened here. So I I'm wondering, this is my point, I'm wondering what the people of Iran are, are thinking. I'm wondering, is the Iranian government going to come out and say, we made a mistake and we just killed 175 of our own people by accident? That seems kind of unlikely. Um, I don't know how this is going to go. I, I, I think that if we're so much alike, the United States and the, the, the people of the United States and the people of Iran, that there's going to be a lot of suspicion that somehow, some way that the United States was to blame for this. Uh, that maybe it was a, a United States missile. Maybe it was a drone. Maybe it was a freaking drone. Who knows? Um you know, uh, my point here, too, is uh, Trump saying that Iran is standing down. I, I don't buy into that in the least. Uh, again, if, if we're so much alike, the R Iranian people and the people of, of the U.S., there, if that was us, there would be a lot of hostility, a lot of seething hostility, planning, uh, thoughts of revenge. Uh, this is this is what I think is is uh, Iran's mindset these days. Um, I, I'm curious too as to how how they are they just going to come out? Would they come? Would they actually just come out and say we made a mistake and sh accidentally shot down our own airliner? Uh, that would surprise me. That would really surprise me if they did just said some admitted fault. Uh, I'm sure it would have to be blamed on rebels or, you know, some enemy. I, I just can't see uh, any government taking, uh, take, <laughs> taking uh, responsibility for a mistake. It just, you don't see that a lot in uh, gov anybody's government. So, again, I, I wonder how this is going to play out. I wonder if the this airliner incident is going to play in future... The future of uh, Iran, Iranian and American um, relations, relations. I wonder what the people of Iran, how they're looking at, at the deaths of all these people. Um, they're already seething angry at the death of, of their general, of one of their beloved people. And now 175 civil of their civilians are, are, are they would probably consider murdered. Um there's going to be a lot of anger, a lot of freaking anger, I'd imagine, in the the, gen, the in the average citizen in in Iran. I imagine there would be a lot of uh, sadness, anger, 
thoughts of revenge. Just just some thoughts this morning on how this is all going to play out. Because as we see, everything has uh, consequences. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to come out and blame Trump. You know, I'm not going to say it's Trump's fault that these Iranians are dead. But it is a series of consequences of, of one thing leads to another. Um, things have consequences. And by... By that assassination, it jacked up tensions and anxiety, and in one way or another, I believe it, it, it now. I believe it led to the deaths of the 175 people on the on that plane on the that plane that went down in Tehran. Where that'll lead, I don't know. Um, one thing I do believe is the tensions are still. I, I believe the tensions, the, the tension in Iran is, is anything but. Uh, standing down or calming down. I, 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 I'm not buying that at all. Um, I'm not buying Trump's claim that uh, Soleimani was on his way to commit some nefarious act. I, I don't, I think he, he wasn't a good man. He dealt in death and mayhem and uh, revenge and he lived by the sword and died by the sword. But I, in my heart and my gut, I, my gut tells me that there, there's, that Trump's hiding something. Um, just the way he spoke the other day, he said something on TV, the way he phrased it. He said the evidence for this assassination will be made, will be, will be made, brought into the light tomorrow to everybody. And then he stepped back and he said, well, not everybody. He said Congress. And then he kind of stepped back again. And he said, well, some congressmen. And that right there made me think he, he's, he's, he's already considering how to limit information on this assassination of Soleimani. I, I, I truly believe there's a lot more to this story. Um, and then if you look at the, the, the senators don't seem at all happy with what they've been presented, even in some of the Republican senators. There's no explanation at all. There's no evidence whatsoever. And we all know Trump is being the, the bragger, blabbermouth. And I, I truly believe if he had evidence that 100, 200, 300 U.S. servicemen were about to be killed at, at some particular base, I am 100% sure that he would be bragging that he saved those men today. You know, if he had that evidence, uh, there's no way he would stay quiet about that. So that makes it, I, I, I do not think that was the situation. I think he's hiding, you know. I think he's got other reasons. And I've already told you guys in other videos what I, I personally what I, I I would I would guess those those ideas, those situations are. Anyway, that's what I, I just wanted to talk about that airliner. Uh, unintended consequences of a chain of chain of chain of events, consequences, and I, I don't I have a feeling that that chain of events these consequences aren't quite done playing out yet. I guess that's that's the point of my video. All right, you guys have a good Friday. I'll talk to you a little in a little while.